what's going on guys and welcome to your 18th HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at some important CSS syntax properties and how you write CSS basically so that we don't encounter any problem while writing it on some production site or live site so I would explain you like this in your HTML document technically every element would accept a style attribute like your P has in HTML4 it had a line attribute which accepts left right or center and it's completely deprecated in HTML5 so say no to align and no, never ever use that so to right align this what we make use of is called a style attribute now the style attribute is mostly available with every element in HTML and you could uh, kind of apply a style to any individual element by using the style attribute with the element name and just like an attribute it would its value would be written in quotes and for example for now let's say text align a colon and write and we would be learning about this these properties in next tutorial and in this tutorial I'm just teaching you about syntax to write basically to start writing your CSS program so now when we reload this we get it as right aligned so to write CSS what we do is we write the element name with the style attribute and the style attribute is special attribute for CSS commands CSS properties and this would accept CSS and how do we write CSS we'll discuss in a couple of tutorials and for now let's say if you don't want to write it directly in the element itself but you would like to have some separate space for CSS and the element so what we do is we write the style tag just like we have the style attribute at the same time we have the style tag and this style tag could go technically anywhere in your document but I just chose it inside head because you know that's just a kind of tradition to write it inside head keeping all your scripts and style and CSS files inside head so anyways so though it is cascading style sheet but we write the tag name as style so style inside all this would be parsed as a CSS and everything you write inside this would not be actually visible on the document as you can see we only have hello world on the document and not that this crap even if it's invalid so how we write CSS and how to make use of CSS we'll be learning in the next tutorial and I'll see you then and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching